Along with the Dream and the Dreamy came other big personalities to the scene of the Sandman and the trending first season of the show. But the yet not confirmed second season will likely boast even more characters and an even bigger showdown between Dream and Lucifer, the ruler of hell, who might get the same fate as Tom Ellis's Lucifer in his TV show. Given the source material, the latest The Sandman series that was released on the Netflix streaming platform on the 5th of August this year is trendy, and we think the peak of the series is yet to come, seeing how the first three days went, topping the charts for most viewed series on Netflix, surpassing the infamous Squid Game. So with the first season already out, all 10 episodes, we are turning our focus to the second season of the series, and expected renewal by many fans but still, one that is yet to be confirmed. But knowing where the source material comes from, Neil Gaiman's comic book series, one of the reasons we knew so much about the series is because it was probably one of the most anticipated series for the past two years. The first season adopts the first two volumes of Gaiman's graphic novels, Preludes and Nocturnes, and The Doll's House, with each novel having five episodes for itself. The first five episodes tell the story of how Morpheus was imprisoned for over a century and his quest to retrieve his magical symbols of office and repair his realm, the Dreamy. The sixth episode of the season serves as an epilogue, an origin story for Death and Dream's immortal friend, Hob Gadley, after which the series progresses towards Morpheus' final showdown with a serial killer called the Corinthian. So while we are here, Let's see how the first season left us, and the finale that somewhat sets up the still confirmed second season for an even bigger success. The first season concludes in a relatively positive manner. Despite all the events that took place before this moment, Dream, Rose Walker, and even Lucian have something positive, finishing things on a high note. Their stories are wrapped neatly, with the dreaming well on its way to former glory, and Rose, no longer the vortex, an important setting for the character, mind we add. In the very last moments, the last episode makes sure to leave a lot of doors open, everything in order for us to get the hint that a second season is on the way. One of the most obvious setups includes Lord Azazel's visit with Lucifer, who proposes an alliance with the Lords of Hell in an attempt to take down the Dreamy, with Lucifer seemingly interested in the idea as the finale closes. This in itself could potentially serve as material for a whole second season. But there is at least one other, if not more, scenes to consider. For instance, Dream Scene with Desire. Although Desire acknowledges that the chances of defeating the Dream are slim, which could also hint toward a future team-up between Lucifer and Desire possibly? Who knows? There are so many things to consider. Only time will tell. And the last thing we want to hint towards is the third, less meaningful setting. Dreams promise to come for Lida's baby one day. Hence, he could make good on that promise throughout the second season. In addition to these scenes ending setting the stage for season two, there is also Neil Gaiman's comic series, which, as we said before, leaves a lot of opportunity with the material before the writers of the second season. As it stands right now, the Sandman series has yet to be confirmed by Netflix in its renewal of the second season. Though the second season of the Sandman has yet to be confirmed, the writer of the series, Alan Heinberg, has stated that writing for the second season has begun, which is a good sign nevertheless. Judging by the first season, which took two years to produce, mainly due to delays because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the filming started in October 2020, which then brought to us season one on the 5th of August 2022. The other big reason why the series of this kind takes a little bit longer than the others is the lengthy post-production, due to just how many visual effects need to be done right, not to mention the time it takes to create the practical sets and the costumes as well. With everything in mind, if the second season gets confirmed in the near future, then we should expect season two of The Sandman to arrive in the spring slash summer 2024. A little less than two years from now, one of the most unique things about the comic book series of Neil Gaiman is that all of them spring a lot of characters, who also said that if the inevitable second season gets confirmed, we should expect a reprisal from a vast majority of the season one's cast. In an interview with Radio Times, he said, and we quote, Part of the fun of Sandman is if we get to season two, you are going to meet a whole lot more people. And by the way, in season two, you are going to re-encounter pretty much everyone that you knew and loved from season one. Gaiman also pointed out where the story might go in the second season, 
highlighting two characters from the first season, Hob Gadling and Desire, and just how big of a role the two will have in the future of the story. These comments from Gaiman suggest that along with the main players, including the likes of Tom Sturridge, Kirby Howell Baptiste, Gwendolyn Christie, and Vivian Achimpunk, we are going to also get the likes of Ferdinand Kingsley and Mason Alexander Park as well. Doctor Who star Jenna Coleman also addressed her future in the show, who said that Lady Johanna Constantine's depleting appearance is just a sign of bigger things to come for the character. One character who we will probably not see in the second season is Boyd Holbrook's The Corinthian which does not mean that he could not return in a potential third or fourth season of the TV show, something that happened in the comics for the character as he was getting reincarnated further in that series. Maybe the fate will be the same for the live action The Corinthian. From what we were able to read and hear about the second season, the story will probably cover the story told in the fourth and fifth volumes of Neil Gaiman's graphic novels Season of Mist and A Game of You respectively. Along with the fourth and fifth novels, the second season of the series has also been presumed to entail bits of the short stories from the third novel, among some other stuff. The first of the two novels that will get adapted see Dream return to hell, where Lucifer Morningstar awaits him, unleashing chaos by abdicating her throne and starting a new life on Earth, freeing all demons in the process, something that was kind of adapted in Netflix's Lucifer series, with the character presumably living on Earth and his past comes to haunt him, in one way or the other. Something that we could also see in the Sandman upcoming season. A story with a much darker tone than ever before. Something that would match the first season's narrative. The second novel that will be adapted for the live action will probably focus on one particular supporting character from the first season, Barbie played by Lily Travers. So with everything in mind, given how faithful the first season was when compared to Preludes and Nocturnes and The Doll's House, we should expect a continuation of the story in the same manner, a rather close follow-up on the source material. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the series so far? If you have watched it, and if you haven't, what are you even waiting for? And also, what are your expectations for the second season? Will the TV show receive a green light? And if so, where would you say the story will go? But also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future.